Hi there, welcome to my channel. I'm Rhonda and I want to talk about this crazy fuzzy yarn. Have you ever tried crocheting with it and thought there is no way I can't see my stitches? I think I came up with a way. I'd like to know your way, but I came up with an unconventional way and I'd like to share that with you right now. Hi there, welcome. So yeah, I've been working with this yarn and I've been away for a week without videos because I've been crocheting a lot. There's a new baby in my life and what do you do? You crochet, right? So anyways, if you like what I show you, please subscribe, watch right through. It'll really help me. So yeah, I tried using this yarn and at first I was ready to throw in the towel. I'll be honest with you, I couldn't see my stitches and it was hard and it was frustrating. But the colors were so pretty of the yarn that I got in my Mary Maxim mystery bag. So if you haven't seen that, I'll link you to the video that I actually tried, put it back and then pulled it out and thought, yeah, I'm gonna give it a try. So I came up with an unconventional way to make it work. I think it's unconventional. I don't know if anybody's done this before, but you can let me know and let me know if you have a special way of working with this fuzzy stuff. <laughs> and um, let's talk about it. So anyways, I'm putting this aside because I have a beautiful project to show you. And um, I made it work. And I'm gonna show you first the blanket. Okay, I really think you're going to love this. I ended up combining the fuzzy yarn with uh, regular acrylic conventional yarn to go around the edge, but I'm gonna tell you what I did to make it work. So here it is, and I'm gonna stand up to show you. So here it is, it's got bunnies hopping all the way around the blanket. I'm going to link you to the tutorial for these bunnies, but I actually put a carrot in the corner as well. And here is the blanket. And what I used is Bernat Pipsqueak in the colorway Play Date. And this is a 100% polyester yarn, this one here, and it's got this gorgeous striping effect. I talked about this yarn in a prior video. I wasn't impressed that the colorway was different in, in both cakes, so I had to work with it. The first one I pulled from the inside, and the second one I used, I actually had to pull from the outside to make it work, and I really like the effect of having it go from center outwards. And you can see that my waves are not symmetrical. And I kind of like it. I think it almost looks like watercolor. I don't know. I just like it. But there's a reason why it is not symmetrical. And you'll notice on the top as well, it is all wavy and I call it wonky. It wasn't straight. I'm gonna turn it upside down to see the bottom. This one as well. So how did I get these edges straight? You might be able to tell if you're an avid crocheter. What I did is I went around with the white fuzzy yarn and I also got that in my mystery bag. I have a full skein left. I used almost a, an entire skein. This is the Gentle Joy, Loves Gentle Joy Baby Blanket yarn. And it really comes out like furry, bunny, I don't know how to describe it, but it came out nice. Not fun to work with at first. This is also 100% polyester. And this one, it, there's quite a lot in it. It's got 200 meters, it's a 200 gram skein. So it did quite a bit and it was good that I had it around because what it did, it allowed me to stitch all the way around my wonky piece of pipsqueak yarn and create this evenness around it. And the way I did it was a little bit sneaky, 
I sort of cheated. I went around the blanket and I did a combination of slip stitches, half double, double and triple crochets to get around this wonkiness. So if I was at a higher part here, I just did a shorter stitch. If I was at a deeper part here, I did a triple crochet. And I did triple stitches at the corner to make the corner well defined. It's not perfect and some perfectionists might not be happy with it, but I would say it's pretty good, right? Pretty good. And then doing this border and what I did is I put little ribbons around their necks and I just used a dot of black paint for their eyes. I wasn't going to crochet them on because it would be hard to hide. So I just did a little bit of black acrylic paint and I think it should stay okay. So I love how it turned out and I love the colorway so much. I just think it turned out so pretty. And so I guess what I have to say about this type of yarn, it isn't the funnest to work with, I do admit it, but it makes something so soft and squishy that if you have grandchildren, they're just gonna want it. It's gonna be their favorite blanket. I'm convinced this is going to be my granddaughter's favorite blanket. <laughs> well, I don't really know that, but it's just, it's so soft that even for myself to make a blanket like this, I'd really like it because it's so cozy, but it is a pain to work with. I don't take that back. I did say it in a previous video. Is it worth working with it? If you like the effect, yeah, you can make it work with this unconventional way of working around your wavy piece. And the other thing I did was if I had a part that was rippled, it looked like it was too, too big or pulling, I could just increase or decrease as I went along this border. And I did that a little bit as well. So I got this nice straight edge that wasn't all buckled. I do have some waviness in it, but with a blanket like this, I don't think it really matters. That's just me. I'm a bit of a perfectionist, but not that much. Okay, so I did make something to go with this bunny blanket. Did I mention there's a carrot in the corner here? Let's find the carrot. All the bunnies are hopping around the blanket, chasing this little carrot. They all want the one carrot. And I can tell you right now, I know how many bunnies are in this blanket. There are 30 bunnies. And when I first started making them, I thought, oh, how am I going to do this around the whole blanket? But honestly, it does get to the point where after about three, you can just whip them off and it's pretty quick. Putting the little ribbons in, that was a bit of a task, but you know what? I just love it. 30 bunnies after one carrot. <laughs> so that's really cute. Okay, so what did I make to go with it? I am in love with this. It is a Sorella pattern. If you haven't seen Sorella, go and watch her channel. Um, I'm not sure how many videos she does now or if she stopped entirely, but she put out this video for a lovey and I just made it my own, my own colors and it's so pretty. So here it is. Look at this adorableness. <laughs> so I used the same pink yarn. I didn't show you the pink yarn that I used for the bunnies. Again, it's from Mary Max and Mystery Box and it's one of these no name, off brand, 100% acrylic, fairly soft, really nice shade of pink. It's called Royal. It says 99 cents. I don't know. I don't know where it's originally from. It's 100% acrylic, 100 grams, 241 meters. So if you get a Mary Max, a mystery bag, and you get these no-name yarns, they have a great purpose. And it went so well with the pink in this blanket. I really liked it. So I just combined those yarns. And this is also a combination of yarn. I added another one from Mary Maxim's mystery bag. Mary Maxim would be so proud of me. <laughs> Anyways, here it is. So this one is Love Baby yarn. It really is a lot like Hair on Simply Soft or Loops and Threads 
soft and shiny yarn. It does have that bit of a shine to it. So I combined that in this lovey. You can see the white yarn that I used has a bit of a shine. I don't know if you can tell. But then I used the Bernat Pipsqueak and I also used that fuzzy yarn in this big skein that I showed you. I use that as well and it really does come out so fluffy and wonderful and I made her bow with the pip squeak and I just used some embroidery thread that I had around for the eyes and the nose. When it's for a child that's under three I don't put on the safety eyes because they aren't safe. Even though they're called safety eyes they're not considered safe for young children. So I embroider on my own eyes. But isn't this so cute and beautiful too? I have to say, I just love it. I love how it turned out. I love how it coordinates with the blanket. So pretty, so girly, so feminine. I just love it. And I was going to make a bunny hat as well, but I had to take a break because I also have a special little boy in my life and I can't make a blanket for his sister and not for him. So I'm working on a blanket for him now. So again, that's the trick. If you're working with this yarn and you can't see your stitches and it starts going all over the place, one option is frogging it. People get frustrated and they throw in the towel. Another option is how can I make this work? And I'm the type of person that likes to take on a challenge, whether it be crazy bright colors that I'm not sure what to do with. And if you haven't seen my garden tea party set video yet, please check that out because it's so much fun. It was a great project. There's several parts to it and you need to take a look at that if you haven't yet. So I'll link you to that as well. Um, but here the challenge was the texture of the yarn and I was thrilled to make it work. I'm so glad I didn't give up on it. So if you have a yarn that you're not sure about, whether it's a color that you're not sure about or a texture that you're not sure about, just try it. Try to make it work. Use your creativity and try and come up with a solution for that yarn that is unconventional for you. And you never know what you can come up with. This is what I came up with and I'm super pleased with it. I hope you like it. And please, if you like what I make, please subscribe. Please hit that notification bell to get all my videos so you don't miss any. I will have more giveaways coming up. Uh, it's been a bit of a stretch for now, but there will be more and I will be here. I know sometimes it's a bit of a stretch just because I've got my hook in my hand and I'm working up magic, I like to say. I love yarn. I love what I can do with it. And I hope you enjoy seeing what I make. And I really hope that it gives you inspiration to go and create your own yarn magic. Have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.